Ben was two days old. It was the standard to come back in for your two-day checkup. And they said, um, we hear a murmur, we hear something in there. Ben needs to go and have an echo. There's something, sounds like there's something wrong with his heart. And um, so I took him in and they did an echocardiogram on him at 15 days old. And they came back and they said he has pulmonary stenosis. If he had not had the pulmonary stenosis and we had not been doing a regular three-year checkup on him, we would never have found what initially was thought to be a clot but turned out to be a tumor. It's the Christmas Eve. Somehow, maybe it's God, maybe it's just her bringing down the iron fist, but I got an MRI that day. They gave me the word that it wasn't a clot, that I could go home, that it was just a tumor. Yeah, it's just a tumor. So I got, I got, you know, I got to go home, got to do in my dinner, got to open presents, and it was awesome. I, I really am thankful that I got to do all that, because had, had they not gotten that MRI, I would have had to spend Christmas in the hospital. Between the time that Ben was diagnosed with a tumor in his heart and the time he had the surgery. Um, I was in the kitchen washing dishes again. Um, ben comes bounding into the kitchen. He goes, you know, Mom, I realized that I could be dead. You know, this, this tumor piece could spin off. I could die in a second. And I have decided that I need to live my life to the extreme. And he has done that. As weird as this might sound, I loved having heart surgery. You know, surgery, this, surgery of this magnitude kind of, kind of humbles you in a way and shows you like what matters. The story that I gained from it and learning about myself, my friends, my family, you know, who I am, that's the true gift. Like having, having the tumor out of my heart and being healthy again, that's awesome. But learning experience is really, why what I really got out of it.